So when did collective learning really get going? That's actually a really hard question to answer because early evidence of collective learning is very hard to detect in the archaeological record. We're pretty sure that we have evidence from about 50 to 60,000 years ago. We start finding new stone tools, we find new bone tools, we find people settling new environments such as Ice Age Ukraine where eventually they would build mammoth bone houses. And we even find hints of artistic activity of various kinds. But some archaeologists argue that collective learning and therefore human history began much earlier, perhaps as early as 200,000 years ago. Sites such as Blombos Cave in South Africa provide evidence for this. Blombos Cave was occupied from about 95,000 years ago. And in it we find evidence for the use of shellfish, we find evidence perhaps for deep sea fishing, and we certainly find hints of artistic activity and maybe, some argue, for very early forms of writing. Strengthening the case for those who argue that collective learning and therefore human history began much earlier is the fact that the earliest skull we have found that really looks like a modern human skull was found in Omo in Ethiopia and it's now dated to almost 200,000 years ago. Whatever happens, the debate's going to continue. But we can now be pretty sure that the threshold to collective learning was crossed somewhere between 200,000 and 60,000 years ago. And the result was something entirely new in the history of the planet. A species that could evolve not just by changing its genes, but by the much faster mechanism of changing its ideas. That species is us. We are the biosphere's super learners.